I think we have uh, um, one question that, to ask you and then one request. Um, so the question is, um, if you think that music, um, the music that you've sung tonight, music in general from the 40s, um, is something that still resonates uh, with today's audience. I, I, I know it does. Um, I actually, uh, one of my side missions, I have a, a number of different ways I like to share music with the public. And one of them is um, to go and present this music to little kids in uh, like elementary schools around the world. I've shared some of the same material with children in France and in Africa and in the United States in the heart of the Midwest. And every time you, they just can't help it. They, they start bobbing their heads and tapping their feet and they wanna jump in and they wanna scat along with me and improvise. And uh, there's no doubt in my mind that this music is gonna continue to outlive us all. That's great, thank you very much. And then the request, uh, peut-être c'est moi, peut-être j'ai j'ai mal expliqué uh, l'idée derrière uh, derrière le sketch, mais il y a des gens qui nous ont demandé si vous pouvez uh, nous faire un petit exemple de ce que c'est le sketch. Oui, bien sûr, pas de problème. So, um, scat is the the word that ended up um, they ended up using to describe vocal improvisation that doesn't have real words to it, that just has nonsense words, and. Uh, the, they say that the first original recording of such a thing was um, Louis Armstrong recorded the heebie-jeebies and the legend says that the lyrics flew off the music stand and so he was forced to sort of make things up and, and didn't have any real words to sing. We don't know if that, how true that is and I'm sure people have been scatting since well, way before that. But just, I did some scatting while I was singing before and it's um, basically when you hear the famous one is a Sinatra going dooby 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 dooby. But uh, anytime you heard me singing without words, that's called scat singing. And it's usually improvised, like today it was, and, and more often than not. Super. Merci beaucoup, Carrie. Vous savez l'expliquer beaucoup mieux que moi. Alors, euh, <laughs> merci. <laughs> Uh, that, that was really wonderful. Thank you. Um, thank you a lot, Carrie. Um, thank you for being with us today. Uh, it certainly was a really nice and memorable way uh, to celebrate a, a really important anniversary, to celebrate this historic moment of Franco-American relations, the 75th anniversary of the E-Day. Um, I hope that you enjoyed yourself. Uh, we certainly enjoyed having you here. So nice to have an excuse to dress up <laughs> and actually share some music with people live. Went to, uh, it's, it's, thank you so much for inviting me. Merci beaucoup. Voilà, notre rendez-vous musical touche à sa fin. Avant de vous quitter, je voulais vous dire que nous allons faire une petite pause pour mieux vous retrouver très prochainement avec une nouvelle formule et de nouveaux, ar de, de nouveaux artistes. Suivez-nous sur Facebook et Instagram pour rester informés et pour voir les prochains concerts à venir. Je voulais également vous dire que c'était aussi mon dernier rendez-vous car ma mission diplomatique en France se termine. Uh, J'ai passé plus que trois excellentes années au service des relations franco-américaines. Uh, je suis très content de pouvoir terminer avec un concert uh, comme ça, avec Carrie, si, uh, si positif, si uplifting. Uh, et J'ai vraiment pu collaborer avec des, des personnes formidables à travers la France, uh, notre équipe uh, au sein de l'ambassade, uh, et uh, sur uh, plusieurs projets, uh, tous motivés uh, par la même volonté de promouvoir les échanges entre la France et les États-Unis. Merci à toutes et à tous de votre confiance et de votre soutien. Bonne soirée à tous et à très bientôt, j'espère, sur les chaînes de l'ambassade. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Bonne soirée.